What's good YouTube? Welcome to another Small James coding tutorial where today we're going to be talking about Python environments which is good for package management, module management, all that kind of stuff. An essential skill to stop you getting dependency errors and dependency conflicts and all that kind of nightmare. So the common practice solution is to use an application like Conda or Anaconda to manage your packages but what if I told you there was a better way using Python virtual environments? Now these virtual environments are great to set up and they are project specific. So essentially when you're writing some Python code, you create a virtual environment specific to that project and it will manage all of your dependencies. You activate that, you install your dependencies and you select it to be interpreted by your integrated development environment or wherever you code. Now we're going to go through all of this in terms of how you can set up the environment and store your packages and everything. So for this, we're going to be using a Python package called virtual emb which comes with Python versions later than approximately three. So if you're working with a Python version lower than that, you can just type pip install virtual env and that will install it, but otherwise it will be already installed on your computer. And the first command we're going to run from the directory that you wish to run your Python code in is python3 dash m v e m v which is the virtual environment command and finally we're going to name our virtual environment and so in this particular case we can just call it my emv and what that's going to do is create this virtual environment and now if i type the list we can see that it exists in our folder structure here now let's say we wanted to do this from inside virtual visual studio code if we open that up we can see that we do in fact have this virtual environment here. And now if I open up a terminal, we can activate this environment within our terminal by typing source my env, the name of the file, slash bin, slash activate. And now what happens is we can see that the virtual environment is activated just here. And from here we can run pip3 install any particular package that you might want. So perhaps it's async io which is for package handling and now that package has been installed specifically into this virtual environment. And so this is just going to prevent us from getting any kind of dependency conflicts across our different projects and you can also manage Python versions much more effectively using these virtual environments. So now we saw that the source command activates it and so if I were to create a Python file in here, so let's say test.py and I wanted to print something, print hello, now what I can do is run python3 test.py and that file will execute. Now another common package that everyone uses is plotly. So I could once again say pip install plotly just like that and that will install plotly and that's for generating graphs if you're doing data science that's very common. And so now that that is finished I could say import plotly as pt. Now these files will all execute effectively when I run them from the terminal because the terminal is already using the virtual environment. However, if I wanted to use Visual Studio Code to execute this file and go run and run without debugging, what I'm going to have to do is select my interpreter and tell it to also use this virtual environment. So sometimes it will default read them and in this particular case it already has found it here in the source directory. So I can just select that and it will use that virtual environment and so now once again I can have the exact same thing run without debugging and we can see that it does in fact do that entire process it loads it it executes the file and it imports correctly now if Visual Studio Code doesn't automatically pick up your virtual environment what you can do is type in command shift and P and type select interpreter and here what you can do is type the path for it so you can go dot slash find your directory type in my env slash bin slash python and that will also find that particular environment although the mistake I made is that I should have entered this here first and so now we go dot slash my env slash bin slash bin slash python and that will also select the environment the same environment if it doesn't if if Visual Studio Code doesn't automatically pick it up. 
And so just like that, you can create these in virtual environments for every project that you have, and it just keeps all of your packages and your versions and your modules all consistent and clean. It reduces any conflicts, and it's just a really great skill to prevent you from installing them globally on your computer, which will just lead you to a myriad of different problems. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, like and sub, it's super appreciated. It helps the channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.